Hello, Marky Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and welcome to another episode of the EVE Online 30 Day Challenge. So, today uh, we are going to go out and test this new fit that I've got and uh, see, you know, whether or not it's any good. And uh, so that should be fun. Let me, let me bring on uh, the guys here in, um, in TeamSpeak. Hello, guys. Back into a new episode here. So, okay. So, um, I think I'm, uh, let's see, where am I going to go? I had some missions that I was doing. How do I, yeah. is there a journal no. or something that shows me my missions that I was working on? Yeah, that journal is a journal that you can use as a journal mm -hmm. to see your missions. Okay, let's see, missions, and, um, okay, so, Agent Aurora, let's see, what, uh, I guess I don't know where these guys are, do I? Read details. Well, we can check that, but they don't expire, which means they're probably in starting missions. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I, um, I was, I was doing the... Uh, these are both epic arc, so um, there are four level one agents in this station that you can probably take missions from if you want to try it out. I wonder how far away this is. That's you no, know, that one's at Durapant. Let's see this one. Read details. I think. Uh, let me just see how far away that is. It's a little ways away. But that one's part of this this one's part of the Sisters of Eve, which I haven't finished yet. I thought it'd probably be good to finish that, I think. Well it doesn't expire, you can do that sometime later. In a bigger ship. In a bigger ship. I thought I was uh, in the right size ship for this. Or oh, so here's one. Wait, this agent finder is this agent here? Because this one's yes, listed right no, here. No, no, he's just agent of interest. The agents that are available to you are in this station. Okay, and so security is going out and fighting things typically, right? Yeah. If I decline or fail, I might become displeased. Okay, destroy cartel spies at the bookmarked location. Okay, so um, I assume they're going to give me a bookmark. How does that work? If I accept this, then they then they give me the location. Yes. Oh, well, that's right. And I just um, set destination for here. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay, well, made it out of the starbase okay. <laughs> it's always a plus.
It's been so long since I fought anything. I have to think about this now. Let's see, 5,000. Okay. They're all coming after me, though. Am I going to be able to handle this many of them? Well, that's not even much. You were doing a mission previously, on previous episodes, which had a lot more. Remember the blockade? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. So, it's like... This is nothing. Got some people. I'm not with them, but they seem to be going after you because of that stupid bounty. Oh. There's a total of four of them. You will not be able to handle them. I will not you be able to have war with them. They're coming after me right now. They're scanning you right now where you are exactly. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell them details. You know what they're flying? No idea. Was uh, pretty easy, I guess. And my shield uh, will repair itself over time, right? It just yeah. Or when you talk, uh... mm -hmm. but now now you are uh, uh, buffer armor fitted, so. Pretty fast. Hmm. Okay. Well, that wasn't too hard. Oh, there's all those wrecks there. I didn't even think to. Oh, they're all empty. I don't have any salvaging stuff on me. Because if people are trying to scan you down, salvaging is. yeah. Okay, well the rust bucket made it. Woohoo! Complete mission. Oh, and I got some loyalty points. Now, um, what, the loyalty points, you spend those as well? Is that right? You can go to the loyalty point store, the, mint of the, 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 the photo of the general there, and you can see what you can get for, uh, for your loyalty points. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. <clears throat> it's something like one of those loyalty cards at Superstore. Right. And then you can buy some random stuff. Sometimes you just pay loyalty points, sometimes loyalty points and in-game money or some items. Mm -hmm. Okay, acquire these goods. Bring it back here to drop off. You can even get implants for cheap. 
I can get implants for cheap. It's like 750 loyalty points and oh. 750,000 ESC. But it's a plus one implant. For me, it's useless. For new players, that's something. Mm -hmm. That's right, I was going to go check out uh, implants to... Uh... What? I cannot set a waypoint to the same location twice. Okay. Warp drive active. I didn't realize I was going to jump to another sector. Thought maybe be in the same sector again. Okay, and it looks like uh, my uh, shields were uh, repaired, like you said, that they would fix themselves up when I was in the station. Okay. Maybe I don't know what I was supposed to do here. Cargo delivery. Approach. What am I approaching here? Ah, there it is. So I guess this is one of those I go pick something up. I guess I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. <clears throat> supposed to open the warehouse? If it's that mission you're supposed to open the warehouse, it will have some alcohol drinks in it. And you can just return back with them. Alcohol If you drinks. want, you can kill everyone around you, not the buildings. It's always fun to kill everything. There's loot, salvage, fun, bounties, blood all over the place, and you can paint your ship. <laughs> paint my ship. Okay. I got my, That's not uh, alcohol. You can already see enemies in the background. Yeah. You just feel them. Oh, these ones are a little bit tougher. I just also got told that, well, I'm not sure they know how to do it, someone's gatecamping you. Oh, okay. Well, doesn't surprise me, I guess. Oh, well, there's so many gates, so... I don't think you'll find them. The, the, the only place they can be gatecamping is... And on the range gate. 
But when he jumps back to the range, they can be there. Well, they know the current system he's in, but they don't know where he's heading back for the mission. Well, they, they might be watching. They know where he came from, where he took the mission. So he must go back to the same station to return the mission, I believe. Now they're trying to invite you to the fleet. <laughs> Now let's see, how much damage can I really take here? I mean, my shields are at three quarters. Half. Hey, you can, like you're trying out to it, you can let them bleed into your armor to see how strong your armor really is because your ship is a armor tank. Okay. When the, so when they finish the shield, you can let them bleed into your armor and see how much they're hacking off. I've got a shitload of these guys on me. Yeah, and then it, they're, they're not scrambling you or anything. So, so if you if you, if you so when you have had enough of your armor shut off, then you just uh, go up to station and repair. Oh, my armor's going down pretty quick. Faster than my shields were going down. Probably the enemy caught on to you, so that's why. You're still fine. They're probably, they're probably all, they can also be dealing optimal damage for your build. Didn't check the resistance and damage types he should be applying. Yeah. Now what happens when I start when I lose all my armor? Then you get into hell and you just dock up in station and repair before your armor is finished. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna have to get out of here. Because I've got almost all of my armor's gone now. Yeah, so just duck up. If you manage to get some damage in your hull, the ship will start burning. It's a nice graphical effect. Recently <laughs> added. But did they add a new effect for the burning, or is it the, the same old sour one? It's probably the same old one, but I noticed only recently. And apparently, in the next patches, we will get a new effect on based on the how much damage you've taken from the hull. The more damage the more fire. Warp drive active. They showed some of this stuff during the Eve fanfest last year.
So, and your armor does not repair, only your shields do, huh? Yep. Uh, yes, because we... we the gate. Yeah, because we, we couldn't fit uh, the armor up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So much for gate campers. So, um, I think on my last fit that I had on my Rifter, I actually had a module that would repair armor. Or repair uh, shields quicker. Yeah, that's the you shield don't booster. need shield repairs because you're gonna dock and the station repairs it automatically. Mm -hmm. But they don't repair my armor here, do they? Or do they? No. You have to either pay for it, get a module, get someone else with a module to repair you. Yeah, let's see here. Let me, uh, let's see here. Um, there's no repair place here. Yeah, not all stations have that feature. Nice. But you, you have the, re the repair module from earlier. You can just take something on, put that on, and dock, and repair your ship. Well, I don't, I don't have a repair module for armor. I had one for shields. Didn't you buy one earlier that you tried to fit to the, the rifter? Hmm, I don't remember. Yeah, you put it on, then we had to take it off when you couldn't online the other modules because it took too much power. Well, that was the uh, polarized armor regenerator? Yes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I wonder what I need to do to be able to run that. I can see why it's needed. Yeah. You can... Um. You can try put on small, uh, smaller guns. The guns eat up a lot of power grid. You can... So, oh, that puts the group offline and put online. I just put, well, I put one of my guns offline, but now I have a gun offline. <laughs> yeah, then how much? Now you're only 5.4 power grid. Let me see. You turn off all your guns. How much? How how much total power power grid do we have to play with? If you turn off all your guns, you see the power grid in the CPU. We we have to play with. Then we get can take take a look at. Uh, mm -hmm. take a look so they're at all me. off, and I have 21 power now. Then we can check at our telecons. have what 54 now if I were to um, I wonder what my energy management probably my skill of energy management is probably uh, probably a lot would take a long time to train that but w would that be um, something that would that yeah it would help yeah we can't really worry about that now. We're trying to fit, fit the ship now, not in uh, three mm -hmm. weeks. Yeah, so. it'd take two days to train that up to the next level, to level three. Hmm. 
you have 21 what and you have you have the two 250 or 280 howitzers on your ship um it's the 250 light artillery cannon one yeah there Those are the smallest ones. We can also, if you, then we have to make the ship a little slower. But we also, in if you take the, okay. Well, oh, and as it stands right now, it depletes in twenty-five seconds. Hmm. Yeah, that's even without any guns online. The, the guns don't use cap. Okay. No, not these guns. Some more the place the bounty on you. What's that? The war axe? got additional bounty. I saw a thing come up here, um, but... <clears throat> three more bounties have come in. Okay. So it's just a hundred thousand, hundred and fifty six thousand. There's small, hundred and sixteen thousand. Um, okay, well, I suppose that if I'm able to at least at least my thoughts, and I'm gonna try I guess I'll try this. My thoughts would be that um being able to redo my shields is going to be pretty important to me. Um, and if I have two guns, um, uh, well, it's not as effective as three, but uh, maybe that would even itself out. It would take me longer to kill, but um, <clears throat> let's see here. So chat is staying to take the scram off. Yeah, that, 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 that's if you're going to be running missions. Scram mm -hmm. is a PvP, the Scram is a PvP module. Mm -hmm. I've never used a Scram before. Um, you know, learn how to spell, buddy, when you want to yell at me. <laughs> um, can also switch to auto cannons. They have a shorter range. So. Insufficient power. Oh, even with that offline, I still can't. Even with the scram off, I still can't bring on my other gun. Yeah, the, the armor up really, really sucks on the power pit. Mm hmm. Yeah, so, okay, I'm going to put the scram back on. And. This is all just on dock now and repair your ship with that module. <laughs> Right. Well, I was thinking that, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd just go out and try with two guns as well, just to see what happens. Uh, and with having, being able to repair my armor at the same time, whether or not I have a uh, higher survivability. Yeah, but, but, uh, but if, if you're going to be on mission, you can just as well, well take the scram off and put another uh, cap recharger on. Another cap recharger? Yeah. The well, scram, is, scram is useless in missions, so... Well, I can tell you that the scram is going to be something that is not really going to be used very much in like what we're doing today because there's going to be a whole bunch of us going out. And unless unless you are one of the tacklers, then you are going to be using it. Yeah. Well, I actually don't like to be a tackler, so yeah. Then then we take it off. Okay. So so put another cap on another um, capacitor recharger. Yeah, so, that makes your caps live longer. Or you can put the. Uh, uh, another mo module Wait, that you put in cap charges. What? Small capacitor. Capacitor recharger. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong things here. There. Pardon me, actor. Okay. Yeah, button, yeah. And then... Oh, I, but I still can't put this online. 
So that doesn't that doesn't increase my available power on the power grid, does it? Oh, for that you can take. Uh... Yeah, you have enough CPUs. Then you can take. You will be a little slow. You can take the overdrive injector system off. That's a low slot module. The speed module in the low slot. And then you go into engineering equipment and put on a power diagnostic system see if, if if that's enough you increase your cap recharge rate power grid and capacitors and capacitor recharge and shield hit points okay so um but i'm in engineering equipment where is it Engineering equipment, it's just uh, one of the l lowest ones. Power diagnostic system, it's P. Power diagnostic systems, okay. Yeah. And then. Hello, Kuma. Say again. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, you can use either one of them if. You, you can check the per percentage of it, and then you can see how much it adds to power grid to the, the power grid on the, on the ship to see if it's enough. If, if that's not enough, you need to go for... Let's see. So like this one uh, right here gives a 2.5% a power grid bonus. Yeah. How much did you need? I need... Um, try to align the gun, see how much you need. I need... Uh, I need 2.6. 2.6 units. And it, you have the total of 44.4 power grid. Mm -hmm. And if... What is it? If 2.5% to that... How much is that? Okay, so... That gives me just 1.1. 1 .1. Yeah, then we have to go to the one that's below, that's called Reactor Control Unit. That gives you 10%. But I, I use uh, the, the, the power uh, diagnostic system if I can, because it gives... Uh, if, if I only need 2%, because it also gives bonus to the cap, and cap recharge, and shield hit points. Okay, so... Um... The That's prices the of these are freaking uh, outrageous. Uh, 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 you you go reactor control unit one is sixty nine thousand four four hundred ninety nine and eighty two cents. So beta reactor? No power diagnostic system. Power diagnostics. One. Oh, power diagnostic systems two. Yeah, uh, two if you can use that. That's uh, that's a seven, an eight hundred thousand. Dollar piece of equipment. Yeah, but uh, and then you can go... Re no, you're still in power technology, you should go reactor control units. That's below the power diagnostic system types. Oh, okay. You type up. Okay. You type up. Yeah, reactor control unit. That gives you 10% to your power grid. Oh, that should just be enough. Re reactor control unit 1? Yes. Okay. It's simple, basic. Yeah, so it'll give me 4.4. .4. Okay. And that is oh, okay, not but, too okay. expensive. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's only one here at the station. Well, we'll try that. Okay. Wow, okay, I'm online with everything. Yeah. So, now you're beginning to understand the beauty and dilemma of fitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so now I have a, a whole nother fit. Um, yeah. You know, so this is, this is like uh, guns and shields. So, let's see, save.
<clears throat> okay. Wow. This is like. Uh, uh, personally, I, I, I would put uh, other rigs, but it's just a freak, so. Eh. You need to still need to repair your armor. But yeah. you need to undock and repair it, and you need to dock again to re recharge your capacitor. Oh, wait. Oh, that's armor regenerator. This isn't shield regenerator, that's armor regenerator. Okay. Uh, I was thinking that I had, uh, it was the other ship that I had the, yeah, the armor, or the shield, so. Okay, so, um... this mission and site contains special ship restrictions uh, okay pick up a sympathizer Okay, uh, well, we'll uh, undock here and take a look at this. There's supposed to be people after you outside the station. Mm hmm. If you get locked up, just duck up. Drive and you need to turn on your armor module, not a passive module. He needs to stop flying. Yeah. Otherwise, he's gonna be outside the range. at you and mm -hmm. it looks like a fail yeah I would say so <clears throat> okay so I've got uh, full shields now and my armor is repaired it actually didn't take too long to repair the armor so, that's pretty good. Just another spy. <laughs> no, I've been here a while. Come on, everyone's a spy. Sometimes you just don't know it. Arky, how oh. big was that cop? Um, it's pretty big. Just water. It's like a thermos cup. I like my water really cold, so it's full of ice water. Well, I think it's the first time I see you drink something other than that can on the live stream. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. I'm not drinking as much soda as I used to. 
see how he changes you. You stop drinking soda, you start drinking water after a full night of playing the game and drinking alcohol. Why am I not? You cannot walk there because natural phenomena are disrupting the world. What is I don't understand what's going on here. Okay. Oh, uh, I, I, I'm having trouble figuring out whether or not, you know, what I'm, what I'm doing here. Um, I'm under attack, and... Well, there's another accelerator gate, so you probably need to use that one oh, once you okay. kill these bastards. Okay, I get it. Wow, I keep missing this guy. Oh, there we go. Okay, hit him now. If only you had missiles, he wouldn't miss any. Mm. A module has run out of charges. Oh, gotta reload my guns. Missing this guy. He's following me so close that I'm having a hard time hitting him. There we go. name of the current mission. Oh, I don't know. I'm getting getting beat up here right now though. Got a lot of trouble hitting these guys are so close. Yeah, 
I'm just not hitting this guy at all. Can you try to burn away from him, not trying to orbit him, J just to burn away from him in a mm. straight line? Yeah. shooting at me. They're shooting these lasers pretty far. Invite, invite me to fleet and I can walk to you and take a li little of the heat off you if you want to. I'm in the same system. Um, uh, golly, how am I supposed to do that while I'm fighting? <laughs> Just, uh, I'll put some... If you look at... Oh. If you look at the corp chat. Just, I'm... Um, I exit there. Actually, I think I figured this out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, just let me know. Best if you figure it out by yourself. Yeah, um, if I keep my um, micro uh, warp on, then they can't catch up to me to get so close. Yes. And, um, and they don't hit you either. Uh, yes, they're, the not, they're not really hitting me, and I'm... I'm uh, doing a pretty good job, or better job, on them. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna sit here on Summer Blink and watch you and just let me know okay. if you need any assistance. There are no promos on Summer Blink at the moment, so you can be calm. I can be calm? Yeah, there are no promos at the moment. <laughs> okay. Gosh, another acceleration gate. How is your capacitor with the micro warp drive on? Uh, it seems to be okay. It depletes just slowly, but not too bad. I'm able to manage it pretty good, I think. Letting, uh, letting my shields build up again while I'm flying to the gate. I know I'm going a little slow, but at least it allows my shields to rebuild. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the ship could uh, the ship could probably be a few hundred times better fitted, but. Yeah, it's not, not no time doing it on the run and trying out the uh, and you're also trying out uh, the armor wrap and 
Mm -hmm. This uh, this this is working better than than what I had it before. So. Who knows what I'm in for in this next gate? Warp drive active. hitting me a little bit. I'm hitting him as well. Take me a little, a little time with this little peewee guns. Yeah, it's, it's a what, cruiser hardly or shooting. Yeah, I'm not sure. I may run out of warp before I or micro drive before I uh, take them all the way out. No, I think you are... Uh, are you sure you're not cap-stable with it on? Because, uh... He is cap-stable. Yeah, with the I micro think so. Warp drive only. Yeah. If he turns his wrapper on, he won't be cap-stable. Yes, yes, I know where uh, the cap will... Take, uh, the wrap will take care of his cap, but I think you're cap-stable with the micro mm, Okay, well, I was just noticing it going down, but it goes back up and then it pops yeah. down again. Yeah, so. you, you see w where it stops. The, the, that's the belt. It, it, it only takes out uh, half the second bar mm -hmm. thing and mm -hmm. then it goes up again, so then it's stable. See, now it took it out and then and it charges up to the first one. Now this guy is repairing his shields. Or repairing his armor. Yeah. So... Um, if he keeps repairing his armor, I could I could run out of bullets. And he's using lasers, so he would win. Yeah, plus he, he, he's a rat, so he never runs out of ammo. What type of guns do you have on now? They're 250 light. Um, 250 artists. Yeah, artillery cannons. I got him down to half on his armor. <clears throat> Let me see if he, if he takes another rep cycle. Now <laughs> oh, you have to look out for uh, for the things in space, because if you keep orbiting him like this, you will bump into them, then he will stop, and he will make do more damage on it. So you have to look out for, okay. for, for, for this junk in space. I'm starting to take, give him some hole damage. Yeah, he's coming down, you don't have to worry. And he keeps missing me for the most part.
And there is the person I'm picking up. Okay. And I have used the majority of my ammo. Warp drive active. Another mission completed. Very good. So, um, just a little pocket change they've given me. Are they spamming you? Um, no. One more bounty came in. How do I delete all these? These old ones. 100,000 isk that came in. Let's see, all of them hit delete. Yes. And it did not delete all of them. Delete. Oh, what? That is the worst feature I've ever seen. At most, I can apply to a hundred of them to delete them. I can't select all and delete. So I have Marky, to... Marky, at the bottom of that page, there's a button that says delete all. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was just... That was just seeming ridiculous. So... Um, That's just so that you don't accidentally select all and delete them when you're... Let's like that, probably. Contracts. Somebody has sent me five rifters. Woohoo! Kama Tiona. Um, so, it's in the same system. Well, thank you, Kama. I'm sure I will blow them up very well. <laughs> That's what I seem to do. He probably wants you to <clears throat> fit them PvP and go out and fight. Hmm. Oh, wait. Here's a whole bunch of, uh, from Klonkrieger, uh, a whole bunch of uh, blueprints. Some original blueprints as well. Uh, these are Rick blueprints. They're what? Yep, these are rig blueprints. Rig blueprints. The blueprint for rigs. Wow. Uh. Yeah. It's worth a few bucks here. Now, if I remember right, Klonkrieger was the same person who gave me some of the other, uh, the other ones. I'm not 100 percent sure, but uh, cool. Thank you. Uh, I will uh, be playing around some more with some blueprints. Uh, looks like that came in was that yesterday or today. I guess that was today. So yesterday we talked a bunch about blueprints. So cool. Thank you. I accept. And then two contracts assigned to me. What are these? One is a Tech 2 Rifter and the other one is, yeah, multiple items. Hmm. Well, from Dracus, Fire Strike. I personally like this ship a lot. Mm hmm. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Dracus. And then we'll see what this multiple items one is. It's also from Dracus, a Stealth Bomber. An expanded cargo hold. 
Well, it's a hound. Um, and this is something that um, that uh, I'm actually training up for for its counterpart, the cheetah. So that's pretty cool. So go out and do some stealth bombing. <laughs> the Hound is a Tech 2 torpedo launcher. It's a frigate sized ship that basically uh, fires torpedoes. Okay. I think it was one that um, works really well cloaked as well. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay, not Dracus, thank you very much. It's not very good on small targets because the torpedo moves so slow. Mm. Mm hmm. Plus, you can't uh, really tank it effectively, so if someone catches you, you are doomed. But mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's okay. Okay. So, that's cool. Thank you. Okay, well, I think that's the end of this episode, and um, uh, I am going to take a lunch break. <clears throat> so, you guys can hang around. Uh, it'll take me a few months to eat lunch, obviously. And uh, then we will come back, and we've got uh, about four more hours of show. So, <sighs> okay. Um, so, whoever's here when I get back, we'll see you here. <laughs>